Now I'd like to show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet into your Access database. Obviously, if you have your data somewhere else, it's much better to import it rather than try to type it over again. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to switch over to Excel. And notice the Excel spreadsheet. It's very important that the field names are on the first row. Each row after that is a different record or a transaction. Each column is a different field. Uh, now, you want to try to make it so that each column is really consistent within itself. So each column should only have one data type. Uh, so the address here is all text, and this is all text. Uh, if I look at the zip code, those are pro it's probably going to see those as numbers. But try to be consistent for each column because uh, it'll make the import process go as, uh, as well as possible. But notice how the field names are on the, the actual first row of this spreadsheet. So now let me close out of Excel and let's go back to Access. All right, so in Access, we're going to pick on the External Data tab. And then you come over here and you pick on Excel on the Import and Link section. This will work the same way in Access 2010 and Access 2007. Now here we talk about importing, appending, or link. An import is going to make a new table in the Access database independent of the Excel spreadsheet. An append is going to take the Excel spreadsheet and append it to an existing table. Now, when you use append, make sure that your field names in the Excel spreadsheet are the exact same as the field names in the Access table. It's only going to add the field, add the records where the, uh, the fields are the same. And then a link is going to make a new table in Access, but the difference there is if you change the data in Excel, it'll also change it here in Access. They'll be linked together. So I'm going to pick on uh, import. And we're going to put on Browse. Now, I want you to browse to the folder where you have the files that came with the, bo uh, with the book. Uh, in this case, I went to that folder and I found an Excel spreadsheet called Address, which I just showed you. And I'll pick on Open. Uh, at this point, make sure Import is selected, and we'll pick on OK. Now, uh, you can either import from a sheet within the workbook or you can import from a named range if you have that in your Excel workbook as well. In this case, I'll pick on Sheet 1 and pick on Next. It says Microsoft Access can use your column headings as field names. Does the first row contain your column headings? You can see that it does. So I'm going to check that little box and you can see exactly what happened. The first row has your field names, and each row after that is different records. So we're on the right path. I'll pick on Next. Now, you could change the field name of each column if you wanted to. You can click on that column, and then you can change the field name. You can tell whether it's going to be an, uh, an indexed field in the Access database. You can change the data type. Or you can even skip that field and not import it. All right? So you can do that column by column. In many cases, you don't have to change anything in this screen, but it's up there if you need it to. So I'll pick on Next. Now here it's talking about the primary key. It says Microsoft Access recommends that you define a primary key for your new table. A primary key is used to uniquely identify each record in your table. Perhaps something like a social security number or a part number would be a primary key. So you can either let Access add the primary key, and that's going to add one of those auto numbers as we can see. If you already have a unique, unique field, you would say choose my own primary key and pick your field from there. Or you can say no primary key. In this case, I'm going to say let Access add the primary key. I'm going to pick on Next. Now you want to give your table a name. We're going to call this one Addresses. And we're going to pick on Finish. It says it was able to import that. Now it says, do you want to save the import steps? This started in Access 2007. That means if you think you're going to import the exact same Excel spreadsheet in the future, instead of going through the entire wizard like we just did, it'll, it'll reduce it down to one or two steps if you save the import steps. So that could be helpful if you think you're going to import that same Excel spreadsheet in the future. In this case, I'm just going to pick on Close. And notice how we have a new table called addresses. And when I double click on that, it has the same information as the Excel spreadsheet. If now it's like any other table. I can add records to that, or I can go back to design view as well, like any other table. All right, so that's how we can import uh, from an Excel spreadsheet into your Access database.